Welcome back everyone, Exark Absolute here. Today we bring you a Minecraft Pocket Edition video and tutorial. Have you ever got that nostalgia feel of trying to replay old Minecraft worlds and when you finally get it on your latest version of MCP and try to open them, you get nothing but a big crash and you are just uh, wondering what's going on. Are they corrupted? Are they lost forever? They are not and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm gonna show you how to bring these worlds back and play them on the latest version of MCPE. Now I'm gonna clear this up first. Why do the old worlds crash on the latest version of MCPE? It is very simple. Over time the MCPE devs update their versions of Minecraft and when they do this Sometimes the way they store files, files or data is changed and when, when they change it for a short period those versions have a compatible converter that turns the old version into the latest version. For example, on 0.8 we had limited worlds but on 0.9 we got infinite worlds. What, when this change happened, there was like a small converter that allowed 0.8 and older worlds to be converted to the latest version which was 0.9. This way, this thing happened again on 0.12 when the Nether and Windows 10 compatibility was implemented into Minecraft Pocket Edition and so on. That's why it's causing several crashes and you're probably wondering what's going on. To fix this, you require 4 files or 4 versions of Minecraft PE, 0 0.9, 0 0.12, 0 0.16 and 1.0.8. Now you may be wondering why do I need 1.0 or and why do I need 0 0.16? Well, when you try to open a 0 0.9 or older world into 0 0.12, you will get a direct crash, the same crash that happens when you try to open this world on 0. Point, or I mean on 1.1.1 and the same thing happens here from 0. 0.12 to 1.0. If you try to open this type of world of 0. 0.12 into a 1.0, you will crash, it will not work and you will require to be converted in, from the 0. 0.16. So there are several things you need other than these four files. You also need to know how old your world is. For example, I have two folders right here, JFM Let's Play and Minigames Map. Now the JFM Let's Play is from 0 0.10, meaning that I do not require 0 0.9 in order to convert this map to the latest version. I would require 0 0.12 and higher to start converting and make it compatible with the 1.1 version of MCP. However, the minigames map is a 2014 file or world, meaning that this is a pre-0.9 world that I did back in 2014, meaning that I will require the 0.9 APK in order to convert it all the way to the 1.1. So, as, as soon as you have all of this, this is what you need to do. You go to home and uninstall the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition you have installed. In my case, I have 1.1, so I'm gonna uninstall it. This way, you, you will be able to start installing the APKs without any parsing errors. Also, several file managers will try to also remove and delete your old data from the app you uninstalled. Make sure you decline on that offer. I know ES File Explorer does that. Just make sure you keep the same files. So you go into device, you go into games, com.mojang, make sure everything is right there. Minecraft Worlds, everything is right there. Now, as you guys can see, I already have them here, the folders, but I'm gonna delete them to show you the process. So, as soon as you have the world selected, all you need to do is copy them into the Minecraft Worlds folder. It is also recommended you remove it, you remove every single existing world that you have from 1.1.1 because you might accidentally open them on a 0.9 version and you might get an error or you might corrupt the world so 
right here I have the elevator MCPE I'm gonna keep it there just to give you an example now as soon as you paste them in the Minecraft world what you need to do is install MCPE 0.9 or 0.12 depending on how old your world is in my case the minigames map is a 0.8 world so I'm gonna open this is the old Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm gonna go to play. I'm gonna hit minigames map. And as you guys can see, this is the minigames map. Now, what you need to do is fly around the map, make sure everything is working, make sure every single chunk is loaded. You might see some corruptions, but that is because I am playing from a pre 0.9 world into a 0.9 uh, version of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, you just saw the lag spike. Sometimes you will crash. So if you crash, make sure you go back into Minecraft Pocket Edition and do it slower. Go slower around the map. Make sure every chunk is loaded. And as soon as everything is fine, everything is loaded, everything is good to go, make sure you do your lap. You, are, you can continue to the step two. Right now, I'm just uh, trying to make sure every single chunk is loaded. As you guys can see, there's a lot of lag spikes, but this will end after a while. So, there we go. Now, this was a corruption, unfortunately, but this part was saved, fortunately, especially the YouTube pixel art that I did back in 2014. So, now that I did my lap, I'm gonna exit. I'm done here, so I'm gonna quit to title. I'm gonna go hit home and I'm gonna uninstall Minecraft Pocket Edition. This way you will not get any parsing problems when installing the next version which is gonna be 0.12. So you're gonna go into MCP 0.12 and install it. As soon as it is complete installing you, you are gonna open, wait for it to load, go into play and once again open the minigames map. Now you will see this change it suddenly turned to nighttime, and that is one of the things that happen in this world. So, the same thing you're gonna do is make your quick lap, make sure everything's loaded, make sure you don't get any lag spikes, and then you will proceed to the next step. I'm also gonna do this with the JFM map, so I'm gonna show you real quick. So everything is everything seems fine, no problems. There we go. Now, since this is a limited world, I would recommend you turning it into an infinite world. And all you need to do is go to quick to title, hit play, hit this button, and then make infinite. This will make this will make sure you will get zero problems in the future. So you hit on hit on the minigames map, it will, you will see that it turns to daytime now. But it is an infinite world and you are free to go. There's no errors. You're fine. This map is safe. So you don't need to go do the lap anymore. All you need to do is make sure it loads. So now you exit. Quit to title. I'm going to check now the JFM Let's Play. Open this will just uh, convert it to the 0.12 version. The files will, will change and everything. And it will become a 0.12 Minecraft Pocket Edition survival map. So, as you guys can see, I am right here on this JFA map. What I'm gonna do is gonna hit to title, hit quit to title, hit creative, and then just to check around, see what's going on, see if there's no issues, and if there's no issues, then I will proceed to the next step, which is the following. So, Okay, so far, no problems. This world is already infinite, so I don't have to make it infinite again. And, uh, okay, so it is good to go. I'm gonna exit now. Quit to title. I'm also gonna hit home and do the same thing. Uninstall. This is to avoid the issue of parsing. Because sometimes you try to reinstall or update an APK. But since these are APKs, you might get a problem saying app not installed. This, this is why you need to uninstall first. And now I'm installing the 0 0.16. If you're wondering again why do I require 0 0.16, that is because if you try to open 
it on if you try to open the world on 0. Point, I mean on 1.0 or on 1.1.1 you will still crash so 0. 0.16 is the pre alpha I mean pre beta version of Minecraft Pocket Edition so you hit it you hit play you will see the worlds right here this will convert them once again so I'm gonna hit on the GFM let's play and look at that we get some changes but we got the map loading correctly perfectly smoothly no major problems and there we go so it looks fine by the way this is the JFM let's play map from season 3 episode 30 I try I was trying to bring back episode 40 but there was some corruption and we cannot save it so this is the latest um, save version that you can play on so as you guys can see there's no problem so now we save and quit and then we check on the mini games map as well to convert it once again to the 0 0.16 version so there we go and now just drop this and now I just make a quick checkup see that everything is fine no major issues and since it is already infinite infinite it is a safe map so no matter what happens now this map is already safe it will not get corruptions later on so it is good to go now that I just did my lap I'm gonna quit the title I just got a quick lag spike but no worries no worries there we go so now I quit saving quit do not do not leave from just uh, deleting Minecraft so just exit Minecraft just like that and uninstall once again once uninstall you have to do this process one more time but this time for 1.0.8 which is the latest 1.0 version of Minecraft Pocket Edition pre 1.1 and after this you, all you need to do is install the latest version of Minecraft and you will be safe your world will be updated to the latest version and everything is gonna be fine once installed go open again you will see that I am on 1.0.8 so I'm gonna hit play you will get this message did your worlds disappear try changing your storage location what you need to do is hit external and then hit allow that way Minecraft Pocket Edition will be able to locate the minigames map in the JFM Let's Play just like this building terrain wait for a few moments and there we go now I'm not currently connected to Wi-Fi but as you guys can see it is updated to the 1.0.8 version of Minecraft Pocket Edition with no major issues so it is perfect it is good to go all I need to do is update to the latest version which is 1.1.1 and my pocket edition old ancient map is saved so now I hit save and quit once again check on the JFM map and it should be good to go look at this look at that so the map is now updated to the 1.0.8 there we go smooth no major issues some small lag spikes but it doesn't really matter and I believe there is another another obelisk over here probably nope huh weird no oh, there it is there it is the nether obelisk is right here so not bad but now it's time for the real stuff save and quit and uninstall of course the 1.0.8 and install the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition which is for now 1.1.1 so be right back I am back and as you guys can see I am currently on the 1.1.1 version of Minecraft Pocket Edition now I'm gonna show you this real quick because you will probably be confused again 
So if you hit play, you will see this. You will not find the worlds that you converted to the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition. And you are wondering where are they? All you need to do is hit X, go into settings, go into the profile, select the file storage location and hit external. Hit allow and then go back and you will see the worlds are back. The JFM Let's Play and the minigames map. So all you need to do is hit the world that you want to use or the world that you want the world that was converted and uh, wait for a few moments and voila this is now a 1.1.1 world and it is free to use there is no problems anymore you might get some lag spikes but that is because of the lighting it still needs to update to the latest version so um, yeah so this is basically it I'm just trying to go back into the main place which is here as you can see no problemos no problems all he needs to do is update for a few moments and it is good to go so this is basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy if it did work for you make sure to let me know in the comments as well as leaving a like it would support me greatly and if you guys want to see more tutorials make sure to subscribe and uh, we're getting close to 100k subscribers and that is one of the goals that I want to reach so bad and I'm just gonna check the minigames map let you know that this one also works and uh, building terrain perfect so as you guys can see this one also works so both an infinite and a limited world were converted to the latest version of minecraft PE, which is right now 1.1.1 with no problems it is all done it is all done <laughs> oh my goodness it's all perfect and the youtube logo looks gucci on 1.1.1 I love it I love the basic spleef the nether spleef I remember the good old days the the height the hit this uh, signs did not make it through but this made it through which is right here the sign I think there's an error right here there we go so basically the spleef how this one worked was I dropped that I dropped the the gravel and you will start playing around with it and over here there should be a chest there should be a chest there we go here's one chest here's a chest but you cannot see it it just broke and I think there's another one here no no okay never mind so this is basically it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time have a nice day see ya bye bye